six years ago, I became very troubled by the news how there's a growing divisiveness among American people. Friendships broke up, families broke up, people uh, refused to talk to each other. In the end, the data showing that Republicans don't want their children to marry Democrats, and Democrats don't want their children to marry Republicans. The country has been torn apart by what's called tribalism. That social tension then spilled into Washington and it become ever more difficult to reach consensus about anything which is essential for good government. So uh, I decided, you know, <laughs> instead of cursing the darkness, let me light a, a candle. So I got together with one of the major theaters in Washington, Arena Stage, and they allowed me to invite people from different backgrounds uh, to what we call civil uh, dialogues. I wanted to show that it's possible to talk across these dividing lines and to have productive uh, discussions. So we invited people who supported President Trump and people who opposed President Trump. We invited people who are felt very strongly that China is about to attack us and eat our lunch, and other thought that the United States and China could cooperate. We had people who thought that the 2020 elections are very important. The head of Third Way thought the election were crucial. We had Professor Paul Butler from George Washington coming and saying the election didn't matter, that we needed a revolution. We had 25 such dialogues over five years. They're all on YouTube. They're all on YouTube. And what you will see, that without exception, without exception, these are very reasonable dialogues. We could talk with each other. So when COVID came and we could not continue on, on arena stage, I, I worked with Silicon Valley and I created an online platform which is try to do the same thing. And it has two features, uh, which are unusual, but I think essential. First of all, I required, it requires that everybody who joins the conversation will show their true faith. There are no aliases, there are no trolls. People have to show their name. Frankly, I got some uh, pushback. Some people don't like that. And they said that anonymity is important. It is. But there are a thousand places you can be anonymous. I suggested, I had a thesis, a hypothesis, that if people will have to show their true face, conversation are going to be civil. And I have proven my case. If you go on civildialogues.org, you'll see that there were hundreds and hundreds of people participating in dialogues on a large variety of subjects. And we did not have so far a single uncivil comment. Now, I can guarantee it will never happen, but we have shown you can have civil dialogues. And second and last, we arrange time for deliberations. The founding fathers were very worried about impulsive decisions, about the mob. We have a, a, a weekly polling but you have to wait till the end of the week before the computer measures the consensus to give time for deliberations, for people to change their mind to come uh, together. So I hope some of you will join the conversation on civildialogues.org. We don't sell anything. We don't accept advertising. It's strictly a public service uh, launched by the Communitarian uh, Network. Hope to see you there. Love to hear from you on civildialogues.org.